Welcome to the first Western Women's Canadian Football League game here on Amateur Sports TV. The 1-0 Winnipeg Fearless take on the 1-0-1 Winnipeg Wolfpack live from Eastside Eagles Field here in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Good afternoon, I'm James DeRoshuk. I'll be doing your play-by-play. -play. I'll be joined later on by Mateus Bueno. Uh, first off, we wanted to speak with Danielle Roy, the general manager for the Winnipeg Wolfpack. Danielle, uh, tell us a little bit about the makeup of the team and uh, what the team looks like this year. Okay, well, we have a, uh, we've got a good group of girls here this year. Uh, we've got a bunch of uh, veterans that have been with us for since the inaugural season. And uh, we've got a bunch of rookies this year as well. So we have a good mixture of, of young and, and old and new and new and old. <laughs> awesome. A uh, bit of a tough start last weekend. Not the result you wanted, getting shut out by Saskatoon. Uh, what can we expect from your team this week? You're going to see a big change this week. Uh, we've prepared uh, a lot for this game. Um, it's also our crosstown rivals, so there's a lot of emotions flying around in this game. But uh, you're going to see a different team uh, th today for sure. And of course, today is not only your crosstown rivalry game, but it is the Richard Dudek Memorial home opener. Now, explain to us a little bit about what the Richard Dudek game means. Uh, it means everything to this team. Richard Dudek is actually the reason that we're here today. Uh, he was the only coach who would take us on uh, when we approached all the clubs to, to, to have a coach for our women's team. Um, so he is the founding father of, uh, of the Wolfpack. Great, Danielle, and uh, we're going to see some exciting football action coming up shortly. Uh, today's pregame show brought to you by Backwood Boiler Boys, honest alternative heating solutions for our frigid Manitoba winters. Visit www.backwoodsboilerboys.com. We'll be right back after these, after these messages with Kick. If you take the first mortgage you're offered, a high interest rate could take your travel budget and send it packing. Before you choose a mortgage, take a second look. Get serious about your mortgage. Contact Case Financial Group today. If you take the biggest mortgage you can get, you might find your budget can't support other important costs, like buying furniture. Don't let your mortgage weigh you down. Get serious about your mortgage. Contact Case Financial Group today. At Super 8 Winnipeg West, we have your comfort in mind with free Wi-Fi and free daily Superstart breakfast. We also have guest laundry facilities, a state-of-the-art fitness center, and a jetted hot tub. Sleep well in a spacious guest room equipped with plush new bedding, a 50-inch flat screen HD TV, microwave, mini refrigerator, and Keurig coffee maker. Or book a suite with a kitchen, ideal for extended stays. Super 8 Winnipeg West, located just inside the perimeter on Portage Avenue. The Four Points by Sheraton, Winnipeg South. Conveniently located on South Pembina Highway near the Trans-Canada Bypass and one hour from the U.S. border crossing. Offering a saltwater pool, hot tub, 24-hour fitness center, restaurant, and lounge.
Welcome back. This game brought to you by Super 8 West, and this quarter brought to you by The Hangar. Looking for a great time? Play some pool, watch the baseball game, stop in at The Hangar, 121 Skirfield Boulevard today. Here with my broadcast partner, Matias Bueno. Matias, well, what are we expecting from this game today? Well, well, James, I think it's going to be a pretty closely contested match. I mean, looking at the what happened last weekend in Regina and Saskatoon on opposite ends, Regina, a strong team with Saskatoon obviously being a historic franchise within the league of the WWCFL. But uh, obviously rivalries presented within the province are going to present the best out of any team. Absolutely, and the Fearless actually playing against uh, the Regina Riot last week snapped an 0-for-9 drought against the defending champions. They were outscored 378-33 to over those three over those nine contests, but they came out last week with a strong effort in Week 1 with a 34-9 to win. Well, I must say that it's a really, really tough environment to play in Regina, and from personal experience, I know that it's just there's no greater feeling than getting the monkey off your back and being able to beat any team in Saskatchewan in football, no matter what, because they're really passionate and they're always going to bring out the best that they got against any team from Manitoba. Absolutely. Just getting set for kickoff here. Uh, the weather forecast for today, no rain, but there is overcast cloud cover. We're at 9 degrees right now, looking for a high today of around 18 degrees. Fearless have won the coin toss and will receive. Wolfpack just getting their special teams ready to come out here, and here comes the kickoff team. Juliana Raposo, number 40, is out to do the kickoff for the Winnipeg Wolfpack. Ali both is set to receive for the Fearless. And we are underway. Kickoff goes down to the 20 where it's picked up. Running to the left side. Both are cutting back. She's going outside and is finally dragged down just outside the 45. A strong opening return for the Fearless. And tackle the play was by Ann Smith, number three, a defensive back from the Wolf Pack. And Fearless set up first and ten on their own 48-yard line. Roll during her cadence. She's got the ball. Fake handoff. She's looking deep. She's got Chiovo with the catch at the 40. And Chiovo is going to go untouched to the end zone for the score. First play of the game, we have a touchdown. Now, when you look at a play like that, you kind of see it looks like there's some busted coverage there. Uh, Chauvo is about 15 yards away within within a 15 yard radius of any any close defender, and and she really once she hit the seam, it looked like there was a miscommunication on the part of the on the Wolf Pack. And when you get plays like that, that's going to be touchdown or bust. And what a great throw! As it, well. it looked like that play action really fooled the uh, secondary for the Wolfpack there, leaving leaving Shiova wide open in the in the back of the field. Here's the kick from Milani, and it's good. Fearless taking a seven nothing lead on the first play from scrimmage. Apologies, we're having a bit of technical difficulties for those viewing on Facebook Live. We'll be uh, working those kinks out shortly. And just like that, the next thing you know, we're, we're only about 30 seconds into the game time, and we already got a 7 nothing score, and the Winnipeg Wolfpack are going to have to look to respond real soon because they don't want this to turn into a route, not at all at this point. Yeah, the Wolfpack were not uh, prepared for last week's game. They were shut out by uh, the Saskatoon Valkyries, 57 to nothing. So Brooklyn Dice looking to set up to kick off for the Manit for the Manitoba Fearless here. And the kick is away. Fielded just outside the 25. And wrapped up really quickly. Hackman taken down on the play. 
Not much of a return there, but at least ball security was good. And so now it looks like the Wolfpack are going to set up first and 10 on their own 31 yard line. Here comes the Wolfpack offense. Rebecca Clark quarterbacking, uh, quarterbacking the offense for the Winnipeg Wolfpack today. They break huddle and come to the line. Single back in the backfield. Snap is off, and the ball is handed off. No room running up the middle as she's swallowed up instantly by we Nicole Chermakoa. We've got flags on the field, though. We're going to have to get a check here. It might be procedure offside. We're going to check down with the official. Yeah, we're going back five, so illegal procedure is called on the Winnipeg Wolfpack, and they're going to go start first and 15 back at their own 26-yard line now. So the Wolfpack in a bit of a hole to start this one. Well, penalty was declined on the play, so now we got second and 10, actually. No gain on the play. And you can kind of see from the defense here, the fearless playing about cover one, that it looks like they're expecting a run with loading up about eight or nine defenders here in the box. So we're going to see what the Wolfpack have to do here on this play to move the chains. Clark hands the ball off. And they're busting it to the outside, the Wolfpack, and taken down just outside the 35-yard line. Up to the 36 is Brittany Swanson with the carry. So it's about third and five, and it looks like the Wolfpack are going to send on the punt team here. I mean, relatively easy decision. Not going to take any high risks at this point of the game. And on third and five, and with a pretty busted out run there, you want to make sure that you get good field position. So again, Raposo back to punt for the Wolfpack. Snap is off, fumbled. And Raposo is going to break out to the outside and it looks like she's going to be tackled. She's going to be tackled just outside the 35 yard line. We've got flags in the play though. We're going to have to check in with the officials and see here what What's going on? Looks like one of the Wolfpack might have moved offside on that play. And we do indeed have procedure against the Wolfpack, so now we'll be pushing the ball back here. The penalty will be declined, and it looks like the Fearless are going to pick up a first down here with great starting field position just inside the 35-yard line of the Wolfpack. So the Fearless come to the line, looking to pad their lead really early on here in the first quarter. They line up in the shotgun. Sawicki with the ball. Snap comes. She hands off. Running to the outside. Eggy going in for the score. And I think again, oh, looks we've got a flag in the backfield here. This one could be coming back. A 30-yard run to the end zone for Aggie. And it looks like the official signaled for holding on the offense. This one will be coming back. So again, James, I was just going to say, we, we spoke a little quickly and we saw almost another quick score here, but Wolfpack, <clears throat> thankful for the holding call. That's gone their way. So Aggie's major coming back. Obviously, she had a great game last week against Regina with a 40-yard rushing touchdown, along to go with a six-yard rushing touchdown in that game. So now the Fearless are going to set up first and 20 just inside the 45-yard line of the Wolfpack. We got an injured player in the field, though. One of the Fearless down on one knee, looking at getting looked at by the trainers. Is that Aggie Matthias? Yeah, uh, number yeah, it looks like uh, like it is her. So good to see that maybe she was just shaken up and she might be all right. And she walks off the field under her own power, so that's good news for the fearless. So back to the line at first and twenty. Inside the 45, just waiting for the official's whistle to blow in the play. 
Sawicki lined up in the shotgun formation. Got another balanced ace set with one one back. There's the snap. Handoff. Up the middle is Brianna Hargrave. She only gets a couple of yards there. Tackle in the play by Rands. And that was a good, good read by her. With the read option looking like they were going to try to take something outside. But it was snuffed out right up the middle. And only about a gain of two and a half yards. So they're going to have second and, and a long, long way to go in order to move the chain. So we're going to see what they got up their sleeve here. To ball, get something going. Ball spotted just outside the 42-yard line. Sawicki again in shotgun. She has the ball. Handoff goes to Hargrave. She's busting to the left. Breaking tackles up to the 30. Just past the 30, up to the 27-yard line of the Wolfpack. Looks like they're going to be close for a first down here. They're going to have third and short, so they're going to have to have a decision to make here if they're going to go or if they might bring out the field goal unit. Looks like they're staying on the field. Hargrave in the huddle now. So a big play here for the Wolfpack, trying to prevent the Fearless from adding to their lead. Handoff goes to Hargrave. Up the middle, it looks like she's got enough for the first down. Looks like about a gain of five here, James, and... And I, I, I say once again, you know, I really think that that was a, a smart decision on their half on the offense. When third and short, if you got the running game going well, you got to just keep pounding the rock. And indeed, we do have a first down. So the Fearless get a reset. The 23-yard line of the Wolfpack. Sawicki in shock, shotgun with Hargraves behind her. Hargraves play action. Sawicki looking deep. She's got Shiovo again for the touchdown. Shiovo's second major of the game. And that is just an, another incredible throw. And you see once again, as, as the first touchdown that was scored there, the play action fooled everyone in the Wolfpack defense. And Shiovo left wide open with not many defenders within arm's reach to stop her from getting the ball. And just another great play call from the Fearless. Winnipeg Fearless picking off right where they left off last week, scoring two majors in the first five minutes of this one. As we get set for the kick, Marissa Milani, the place kicker. Snap is away, kick is up, and it's good. So a 14-0 lead for the Fearless early in this one. So another great offensive, but I would say quick offensive drive for the Fearless. And not much time has passed by on this game clock. And they're, all, they're already up two scores. And the Wolfpack are going to have to dig even deeper to level this game up and make it close. Because this, this Fearless team is really looking like they're pouring it on on their offense with the running game going well. And, and obviously the key play action passes coming in as the Wolfpack expect more runs and that cover one cover zero defense has really has really uh posted some holes for them in terms of the pass uh the passing offense for the fearless Brooklyn Dice set to kick off here kick is away and a nice kick to the left side and it bounces by by the returner and she picks up about the 25 and she's taking it and Mosalat with the return she gets up to just past the 25 yard line up to the 26 27 So the Wolfpack offense back on the field here, looking to put some points up for their team. They got first and 10 starting just inside their own 28-yard line here. Clock is running here as the Wolfpack huddle up. And again, you can see, James, how many defenders are stacked in the box for the Fearless and... They know what they want, and they know that they can stop the run, and they're going to they're gonna force a lot of tough plays in the Wolfpack. Clark gets the snap. She rolls to her right. Tackled on the play for a loss. That 
That was Brooklyn Dice with the tackle for the Fearless. And again, a great play by Dice to be able to read the run right away and wasn't fooled by any of the triple option that was going out to the right side. And she just made a great play behind the line of scrimmage to set up again another tough second and long for the Wolfpack. Another injured player here. Looks like Kayla Kilborn is down on the field. Getting looked at by the trainers. Kilborn making her way to the sidelines under her own power. So it looks like she'll be all right. What a great play by Dice to sniff out that toss run sweep there. Busting through the line for uh, a loss. And again, in tough situations like this, you know, you're going to have to see when the Wolfpack might have to start going to their playbook to pull it a play action or pull it a passing play or maybe a screen to get some trickery going here, second, pick up some yards. Second and 12 for the Wolfpack now. Clark lined up under center. She's got the snap. And she will keep. And again, tackled for a loss on the play. And it looked like almost a, a flip of the last play there, James, with uh, the toss going uh, to the left side. And now they got an even longer third down set up for them and the punt team coming on. Clear decision here. And and the fearless, no matter what, whether we got a punt going on here, maybe another fake, but they're going to have, regardless, great field position set up for the start of their next drive. Brooklyn Dice in on that tackle once again. Helped on the play by Nura Mahindo. Wolfpack getting set for the punt. Some confusion from the Wolfpack sideline. The coach is screaming instructions to the players on the field. Looks like they're trying to stop an illegal Snap is away and it's formation. missed. Fumbled by Juliana Raposo. She's going to be tackled down at the five-yard line of the Wolfpack. And again, like you were saying, James, with a bit of confusion, I think they were trying to prevent there from being called for illegal formation. But uh, regardless, a snap goes right, right underneath her legs. And now the Fearless are knocking on the door again for a third time, just with only eight and a half minutes left here in the first quarter of the game. Looks like they'll be set up just on the eight-yard line of the Wolfpack. So a good chance to score again for the Fearless. And again, you got to look here and see that they're probably going to run the ball or if they don't run the ball, then they're looking for another play-action pass to get this cover zero defense exposed one more time for a third score. Madison Swicky lined up in shotgun with Brenna Hargrave. Hargrave gets the handoff. She busts up the middle and is tackled just past the line. Looks like a gain of about three or four yards there. Breanne Ward with the tackle for the Wolfpack. Ball spotted just inside the five by the officials. So we got second and goal here with only about five yards to go. Gain of about one or two on the play for the Fearless. And you think they might be looking to run for another pass here and see if that air option is going to pay out. Split backs here for the Fearless. Shotgun snap. The pass hands off to Hargraves. Hargraves looking to the outside and she's going to be tackled just short of the goal line. So a third and goal situation here. Here, James, and you think that they might look to go for it again? I wouldn't be surprised if they stay on the field, and it looks like the offense will stay on the field and go for the major here. And Coach giving a signal out to his starting quarterback. It looks like they're going to go in a goal line formation here. With just about two yards to go, they got a, du a dual back set to the left side here. Sprague and Hargraves in the backfield. Handoff goes to Hargraves. She's going to the left and is tackled before the line. First contact by Rocky Ham Hackman from the Wolfpack with a great stop there. And again, you see a play like that from the side of the Wolfpack, and it looks like it's going to be something that should really boost some momentum for their team with a great third and goal stop. And although they are parked way back deep in their own end, it surely serves a lot better than giving up a third score to go down 21. So we're going to see what kind of plays they got here to get themselves out of a tough situation backed up on their just inside their own two-yard line. Yes, the Wolfpack with a big hole. They're down 14-0, and they're on their own goal line. But a great stop on third down, as you, as you pointed out, Matthias. Clark set up under center. 
She fakes the patent off. And just Pat short of the intended receiver there. Looking left. Well, being a Masalit was the receiver on the play. She couldn't uh, make the grab. So we got a timeout charged here, looks like, to the Wolf Pack. Yeah, as from the official from the signal and... Head coach Aaron Taylor trying to get some instructions out to his players on the field here. And if I was to guess what Coach Taylor is probably saying to them there in the huddle is probably about the danger of the, the yard line in which they're at, James, with how close you are to your own end. You want to make sure if you do any running plays, as we've seen earlier in this game, you want to make sure you don't lose any yards at such a deep position. You don't want to concede a safety uh, by accident. And if any safety will be conceded, then you'd want to take any on your own from a third down situation. But really backed up here. But at the very least, as long as they don't also turn the ball over, that's going to be another key thing here. Probably from Coach Taylor, what he's telling his players is to make sure to be secure on the ball. Ball so security, very important at this point, especially at this end of the field. Wolfpack break huddle and get to the line. It's Clark under center again from her one-yard line. Snap is off. She drops back to pass. Looking to the left, and she's got her receiver open. The catch made by Annie Smith. That's a great play call by the Wolfpack. Backed up in your own end and looking for that nice slant to the left side there. And obviously a great, great catch there on the play because when you're backed up in your own end like that, it looks like it's about a 12 or 13 yard gain. And that's a huge, huge play for them to give them a lot more breathing room to go forth with their clock management on this drive. Breathing room is right. They're set up just outside the 17 yard line now. First and 10. Clark lines up under center. Two receivers wide to her left. Snap is off. Looks like there was some movement early there. Flags fly. Clark has tackled for a loss on the play. And it looks like Nura Mahindu was in on the play with that sack, but we're going to have to take a look here to see what the officials say. Got a face mask penalty against the Wolfpack, so that is definitely going to push them back. So the end of that play was on the 15-yard line. This is going to push them back right up to where they began this drive, almost on the goal line. So the Wolfpack taking steps backwards after that great second down conversion. And a play like that is going to kill your offensive momentum. From a great pitch and catch to a face mask that's going to bring you back right to where you started, just inside your own one-yard line. So we're going to see what the Wolfpack's got going here to get out of the situation. Clark lines up under center and she's gonna plunge forward. Not a whole lot of room there. Safe decision, James, there for Clark to just QB sneak because you know you don't wanna risk losing any yards on this play. And you wanna make sure that you're just gonna secure the ball, don't turn it over and just get, get your defense ready to see what they got here for the next play. Third down, the Wolfpack sending out their punt team now. So the Wolfpack getting sent to punt here. Fearless should get some pretty good field position out of this. Raposo might just hit the deck on this one and take an E. She's about 10 yards deep in her end zone here. So we'll see what play call the Wolfpack are going to have on this third long. Ball's lined up at the five-yard line. Snap is high, and she indo indeed does take a knee, does Raposo. So that safety now makes the score 16-0 to zero in favor of the, of the Fearless. And a smart decision, obviously, you're backed up that far, and the punts have resulted in negative yardage so far for the Wolf Pack. So, no safer play than to kick off from the 20 or from the 35 yard line in order to save yourself some field position here. 
Probably a wise decision from Aaron Taylor's squad. And it looks like Coach Pachinski of the Fearless has opted for them to opted opted for the Wolfpack to kick off in place of taking the ball at their own 35-yard line. And a good decision by Coach because you want to make sure that you force them to have a deep kick here because it could result in better yardage for the Fearless. Ali Botha and Ash Ashanti Chiobo, and there's some flags on the play here. The officials blow this one dead. Find out what's going on here from the officials. Not sure what caused the whistle there, Matthias, but uh, Wolfpack are going to line up and try this kick again. Might not, might have, might have just been that the play hadn't been blown in yet, and they jumped the gun a bit. But Shiova and both are back for the fearless to receive this kick. Raposo gets the kick off, and it's a low one. And a squib that bounces up and high around the 35-yard line. Shiova's got the ball. She's looking left. She's got some room. She's got daylight, it looks like. Busting up the left is Shiovo. Is she going to score? She will go Beat into the Smith. end zone. Shiovo with her third score of the game. And what a, what a great blocking scheme there by the Fearless. They were able to get a kick out that gave Shiovo a seam that she hit 100 miles an hour. And you can see her as she took the ball left outside the numbers. There was no chance that someone was going to catch her. And that low kick from Raposo just cleared the head of the fearless linebacker, Georgia Trump, who was there, and into the hands of Shiobo, and she immediately busted up to the left for a huge gain and scored. And in a situation like that on special teams, James, as a kicker, when you're sending it deep, you want to make sure that any time that the ball's kicked low, that all the players in your team understand the assignments of their lanes and their gaps, because that... The misunderstanding or miscommunication of those assignments can really result in big yards and, uh, and great plays for the return teams because they have a lot more time to set up their blocks compared to if the ball is sent up deep and high in the air. And it worked out well for the Fearless there as they score their third major of the game. Now up 22 nothing, setting up for the point after. Milani, the place kicker, waiting for the snap. Ball is back, kick is up, and it's good. Score now 23-0 for the Fearless with 4.31 left to go in this first quarter. So you might think here that the Wolfpack are going to want to try something a little different here on their kick return as they've attempted to stretch and returns wide. They've been tackled for short gains, so... Who knows what they might throw in, maybe a reverse, or maybe if they might just run north-south in this one. It might help out with the number of yards that they're going to gain on these kick return plays to give their offense a lot better field position than they have in the past during the game. So Masalad and Hackman back for the Wolfpack to receive this kick. Brooklyn Dice set to kick it off for the Fearless. Kick is away. It's got some height to it. Fielded by Masalit. She's got the ball just outside the Wolfpack 30. Guts up the middle. Is tackled just outside the 35 to the 36-yard line. And a good return there by Masalit. Better to go straight up the field. And it looks like she gained about 8 yards there on that play. So It's going to be first and 10 for the Wolfpack at their 38-yard line. So a definite improvement off of the last returns that they've had after all the major scores during this game. Best starting field position for the Wolfpack so far today. Let's see if they can make something of this. They break huddle. Clark lining up under center again. Looks like they're planning to run up the middle here, Matthias. Yeah, that is true, James. We go see here, but actually we've got play action. And fired down the field and almost intercepted on the play. Let me handle play by play, okay? Oh, sorry, sorry. So, a busted play on that play action. They were trying to go deep, but there was nothing over the middle. 
So it'll be second and ten again for the Wolfpack. Clark lines up under center for this one. Second and long. She drops back to pass and is wrapped up immediately. Cassandra Amora Davis was in on the tackle for the fearless and dropped Clark for a loss. So Matthias, the Wolfpack punting again, it looks like. Yeah, another sack there, James, and they got another third and long set up for them, and hopefully they can get this kickoff going deep so that they can win some great field position here on this next defensive drive. Snap is back, kick is away. Some good height on that one. And Milani dropped the ball, trying to recover. She's tackled on the play by number 27, Rocky Hackman. Yeah, the great special teams play there for the Wolfpack. They got a great snap and kick and also amazing coverage down there by Hackman. Just, I'm not sure if they even got positive yards on that return there. Milani went up to get it and fumbled the ball, so uh, she had to take a couple steps back. So I think you're right, Matthias. I don't think they got any positive yardage out of that. They start first and 10 just inside their own 41 here. Sawicki lined up in shotgun with two backs. She takes, looks deep, looking for Shiova again, and she's got it in triple coverage, and she's finally tackled on the play by Mobina Masalit. Flags come in late. We'll see what this has to do with. Possibly some unsportsmanlike conduct after the play there. But we'll, we'll just see what the official has to say. And a great catch again from Shiobo. She is on fire this first quarter. And just a reminder, this first quarter brought to you by The Hangar. Looking for a great time? Play some pool? Watch the baseball game? Stop in at the hangar, 121 Skirfield Boulevard today. And it looks like we had an unnecessary roughness on the play there after yards were gained. But again, another great, great catch by Shiovo. I don't think that her or Swicky have missed a beat with no incompletion say, as far as I'm concerned. And again, another great play, like you said, James, in triple coverage. Unbelievable catch. So the fearless at the 51 of the Wolfpack with first and 10. First and 15, sorry. Looking deep. Oh, and the play is almost picked off. Rocky Hackman was back there along with a couple of other Wolfpack players to break that one up. So the pass and a double coverage there didn't quite work for the Fearless, but again, they escape with no interception and maintain the ball for a second. Second and 10. Possibly gain some more yards here and p potentially even add to their score. So Sawicki lined up shotgun once again. She's got the snap. Handoff goes. Hargrave cutting to the left, and she's tackled. A gain of about three. Wrapped up by Juliana Raposo on the play. So it looks like the Fearless are going to bring on their punt team, I think, for the first time today. With a third and long face just about six, seven yards over midfield. And the standard decision, I'd think, here on this kind of drive. Third and seven is quite long to convert, so. We seem the Wolfpack struggling to get out of their own end of the field today, so wise decision from Craig Baczynski's fearless team. Brooklyn Dice set to punt for the fearless. Kick is away. It's high. Back forward is Hackman. And it goes out of bounds just outside the 25-yard line of the Wolfpack. Good kick by Dice there. You see that she went the standard numbers to sideline on punt and got a great bounce that dribbled out of bounds to eliminate any potential return for the Wolfpack. And here they go to start again with another first and 10 inside their 30 at the 25-yard line. 107 left on the clock here in the first quarter. 
Fearless leading 23 nothing at this point. Wolfpack breaking huddle as they approach the line. Less than 60 ticks remaining, too. Here we go. Clark under center. She takes the snap, a pitch play to, Savannah, to Mobina Masalit, who runs up the left side for not much there. Uh, gang tackle there back in the backfield for the fearless set up about a, a loss of one yard and the wolf pack again face another second and long here with just under a play clock left in the first quarter 15 seconds left looks like this will be the last play of the first quarter clark with her cadence takes the snap another pitch play to masalit just this tackled again for the loss on the play by Brooklyn Dice. Another great play by Dice in the backfield. She's having a field day at linebacker, snuffing out any pitches or runs or any run attempts for that matter. And another third and very long for the Wolf Pack. And again, James, no choice but to bring out the punt team here when you're backed up at about just your 21-yard line. They started on the 25. They're now back to their 21. There's one second left on the clock, so this should be the last play of the game, or the quarter, I should say. Snap is away. Raposo with the kick. High, but not very far. Milani picks that up. She scampers to the right side. The 40 is tackled there. Tackle on the play by Jill Fast, and and uh, and then you see there, James, that she got a nice bounce on that kick, although it appeared to be short at first. But uh, there's going to be more great starting field position here for the Fearless. Well, that's the end of the first quarter. The Fearless leading the Wolfpack 23 nothing. We'll be right back with second quarter action after these commercials from our sponsors. At Super 8 Winnipeg West, we have your comfort in mind with free Wi-Fi and free daily Superstart breakfast. We also have guest laundry facilities, a state-of-the-art fitness center, and a jetted hot tub. Sleep well in a spacious guest room equipped with plush new bedding, a 50-inch flat-screen HD TV, microwave, mini refrigerator, and Keurig coffee maker. Or book a suite with a kitchen, ideal for extended stays. Super and we're back with second quarter action. Clark hands the ball off. Hallie Aggie back in the game. She gets maybe one or two up the left side. And a look to Carpozo and and uh, Mobina Masalit ran on the on the play there to stop the run for about like you said a gain of a few. And good and the on the Wolfpack playing playing some better defense now after the first few. And our second quarter is brought to you by Pemina Source for Sports. For all your sporting needs, see Pemina Source for Sports. So second and about seven to go here for the Fearless. Ball spotted at the 39, or sorry, the 34 of the Wolfpack. Clark lined up in shotgun. Pass looking deep. Shiolo just outside of her outstretched hands there. That might be the first miss between those two today. And a close call for the Wolf Pack there, James. Shovo had daylight on her defender and just a tad bit far of a throw from Sawicki there, but not too bad. So we'll see what they got going here on third down for the Fearless. The ball spotted again just inside the 35-yard line. Looks like the fearless offense is staying on the field once again. Pushing to pad their lead. A dice coming into the game here, so James, you might think that they might be setting up for a punt potentially. 
or even a fake. Who knows what they have up their sleeve in this one? Yes, they are set up in punt formation. Thank you, Matthias. Snap is good. Dice, the kick. Into the end zone and out of the back of the end zone for the touchback. So a single is scored on the play after going through the corner of the end zone there. So that's going to bring the score to 24 to 0 for the Fearless. Wolfpack will get the ball at the 35 yard line. Trying to get something together. So far, they haven't been able to get any rhythm on offense. And Dice looking for the corner. Just, just sneaked inside the end zone for the single. And and it's going to be a lot better field position starting here for the Wolf Pack compared to if Dice had pinned him inside the five there. Wolf Pack approached the line. 13.45 left to go in the second quarter. Clark under center. Looked like there was some early movement there. No flags yet. Handoff goes almost nowhere. He tried busting out to the right side there. Stuffed on the play. This fearless defense has been all over the Wolfpack run game so far. So second and 11, it looks like we got going here for the Wolfpack. Clark lines up, takes the snap, calls her own number, rushing forward. She'll get maybe four yards there before she's gang tackled. And a, bit of, a bit of a rugby scrum going forward there. She had all the push from her linemen and the two tailbacks that were lined up just outside the tight ends to gain a handful of yards. Not enough for the first down, though. So the Wolfpack faced with a choice whether to go for it here deep in their own zone or punt the ball. And they do indeed send out their punt team. Probably a safe call. Despite uh, being down 24 nothing and looking to get something going on offense, they'll punt the ball here. Yeah, this early in the game, although it is a bit of a wide score margin, you don't want to make it any worse at this point in your own end. So safe decision by Coach Taylor to send out the punt team here. Looks like Shiovo and Milani back for the fearless to receive this one. Snap is away. Kick is up. Milani takes the ball, moves to her right, avoids a tackle. She's busting up past the 50-yard line of the Wolfpack, cuts back into the middle. Is finally brought down just outside the 35-yard line of the Wolfpack. And it looks like with a great return like that, James, there might even be a net of zero yards on the on that punt play for the Wolfpack with the return coming all the way back almost exactly to the original line of scrimmage. Taylor Wigston finally brought her down just outside the 35. So first and 10 for the Fearless at, their, at the 37 of the Wolfpack. Clark lined up in her usual shotgun formation with Hargrave behind her. Hargrave gets the handoff. Bust to the left of the line. She's got some room. She's tackled just inside the 25-yard line. Up to the 23, it looks like. And that O-line punching holes like Swiss cheese. Wide, wide open for her to plunge up the middle there for a nice gain of about 15 or 20 yards here. So we got another first down just outside the 20-yard line of the Wolfpack. Big run there from Hargrave. Set up first down at the 23 of the Wolfpack. Hargrave gets the shotgun snap. Sorry, Hargrave takes the handoff. She tries going left again. Swallowed up just short of the 20-yard line. Maybe a gain of one or two on the play. Sawicki awaits the snap in her shotgun. She gets it, hands it off. No, she 
play action she keeps trying to break left comes back to the middle and she's tackled for a loss Raposo with the tackle not play there and another great play by her so setting up a, a third a third and longish situation here for the fearless and dice come onto the field looks like they might bring out the field goal unit here Decker is on the field. She is their place kicker. So it looks like they'll either try for the field goal or maybe a very, very short punt. Just inside the 10-minute mark of this second quarter. A 27-yard field goal attempt here. Snap is away. Kick is up. And it's good. Fearless padding their lead once again. Now 27 nothing with 9.40 to go in the second quarter. Nice kick by Dice there. Stroked it nice and easy. And again, adding a, another three points to their score to put it up to 27. And this fearless offense is rolling. No answers for the Wolfpack so far in this game. It looks like Coach Taylor has elected to get them to kick off in hopes that his team can get better yards on their kick return here than if they had opposed to choose the ball at their own 3-5-yard line. Hackman and Masalit back to receive the kick for the Wolfpack. As Decker sets the ball down. Kick is away from Dice. Hackman's got the ball. She busts to her right. Tackled on the play at around the 30-yard line of the Wolfpack. A great kick by Dice there. She got some good hang time on it, allowing for her cover team to get down there and make a great play again. Another return of less than 10 yards. So Fearless really rolling on all eight cylinders in all fa all three facets of this game so far with their special teams doing a great job ensuring that they're winning the field position battle. Yeah, that's right, Matthias. Taylor Post uh, with the tackle on that play for the Fearless. So it looks like we've got first and tenure for the Wolfpack on their own 30-yard line with the left on the left hash. As the Wolfpack offense takes to the field, trying to get something going here. They approach the line with Clark under center. Two receivers to the left. Empty backfield. And movement on the line. We're going to have a flag here for procedure. At Super 8 Winnipeg West, we have your comfort in mind with free Wi-Fi and free daily Superstart breakfast. We also have guest laundry facilities, a state-of-the-art fitness center, and a jetted hot tub. Sleep well in a spacious guest room equipped with plush new bedding, a 50-inch flat-screen HD TV, microwave, mini refrigerator, and Keurig coffee maker. Or book a suite with a kitchen, ideal for extended stays. Super 8 Winnipeg West, located just inside the perimeter on Portage Avenue.
Sons Hotel, we have you and your family's comfort in mind. Relax in one of our 16 suites featuring king or queen size beds and 36 inch TVs. Suites also include a mini fridge and other kitchen appliances to make your stay as comfortable as possible. During your stay in Pilot Mound, visit Wiser's Restaurant, our attached family friendly restaurant and bar. It is the perfect location to host group meals, dine with the family, or unwind after a hockey game. Come in and meet our friendly staff offering daily specials on food and drinks, wing night Wednesdays, buffet Fridays, and multiple TVs to watch the game. Wiser's is the place to be. Collins Hotel and Wiser's Restaurant and Bar, located across the street from Blackjack Stewart Arena off Highway 3 in Pilot Mound. We're back here with our first half breakdown here at the East Side Eagles football field, the fearless up 42-0 on the Wolfpack. I'm joined here by Sarah Fordman, the fundraising coordinator for the Wolfpack. Now, outside of the action on the field, tell us what goes on behind the scenes setting up a team like the Wolfpack. Uh, well, uh, the team itself, uh, we do a lot of uh, fundraising throughout the season and throughout the pre season, postseason, uh, to try and raise funds to be able to have a team, fund a team. Uh, it costs a lot of money to travel, and we go uh, to Saskatchewan, and uh, so we offer uh, a few different opportunities for players to be able to create money to help them be able to play the game. Okay, and you have an event coming up soon, I, I hear. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we are actually doing our first annual uh, Wolfpack uh, Open, so it's going to be a Texas Scramble-style uh golf tournament and that's going to be at the Oakwood and uh, it's July 27th and we have a link on our page if people are interested. I think it should be fun. It's a different opportunity. We're always looking for new ways to try and uh, engage people and get to know our team a bit better and help raise some funds to play. Sounds like it should be a lot of fun, big golf tournament. Uh, what kinds of other things do you guys do for fundraising? 
Uh, we have opportunities for players to do uh, individual fundraising. So uh, we do sort of meat and cheese and uh, things like that from uh, local companies here in Winnipeg. Uh, and so they can run, uh, raise money for their individual uh, registration. And then we always do a big kickoff social uh, preseason in usually end of March uh, or April, which we had already this year. And that's sort of our big fundraiser as sort of a, a team as a whole. Everybody comes together, pitches in, and uh, that's how we make a lot of our money for travel. And how did that turn out this year? Great. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Uh, this year we had it at the Marion, and uh, it was really great. And we, you know, made enough funds that we can be able to uh, have our team for this season. Awesome stuff. So uh, where can they go to check out the link? Uh, we have a few different uh, social media um, available. So we've got an Instagram, we have a Facebook page, uh, and we also have, uh, we just started an alumni page for uh, friends of the Wolfpack and uh, former players. So we always have uh, updates there too as to what's happening and people, if they want to be more engaged, if they want to volunteer, they can always reach out to the pack and we're always looking for people. And what's the web address so people can check it out? Uh, Winnipeg uh, Wolfpack.com. Perfect. Thank you very much, Sarah. As always, our first half in intermission interviews brought to you by the town of Stonewall. Looking for a great place to live? Check out Stonewall, Manitoba. We'll be back with third quarter action after this. Hotel, we have you and your family's comfort in mind. Relax in one of our 16 suites featuring king or queen size beds and 36 inch TVs. Suites also include a mini fridge and other kitchen appliances to make your stay as comfortable as possible. During your stay in Pilot Mound, visit Wiser's Restaurant, our attached family friendly restaurant and bar. It is the perfect location to host group meals dine with the family, or unwind after a hockey game. Come in and meet our friendly staff offering daily specials on food and drinks, wing night Wednesdays, buffet Fridays, and multiple TVs to watch the game. Wiser's is the place to be. Collins Hotel and Wiser's Restaurant and Bar, located across the street from Blackjack Stewart Arena off Highway 3 in Thailand. At Super 8 Winnipeg West, we have your comfort in mind with free Wi-Fi and free daily Superstart breakfast. We also have guest laundry facilities, a state-of-the-art fitness center, and a jetted hot tub. Sleep well in a spacious guest room equipped with plush new bedding, a 50-inch flat screen HD TV, microwave, mini refrigerator, and Keurig coffee maker. Or book a suite with a kitchen, ideal for extended stays. Super 8 Winnipeg West, located just inside the perimeter on Portage Avenue. At Super 8 Winnipeg West, we have your comfort in mind with free Wi-Fi and free daily Superstart breakfast. We also have guest laundry facilities, a state-of-the-art fitness center, and a jetted hot tub. 
Sleep well in a spacious guest room equipped with a plush new bedding, a 50-inch flat-screen HD TV, microwave, mini refrigerator, and Keurig coffee maker. Or book a suite with a kitchen, ideal for extended stays. Super 8 Winnipeg West, located just inside the perimeter on Portage Avenue. Welcome back to WWCFL Game Action here on Amateur Sports TV. The 1-0 Winnipeg Fearless taking on the 0-1 Winnipeg Wolfpack live from Eastside Eagles Field. I'm James DeRoshek. Along with me today is my broadcast partner, Matthias Bueno. Fearless up, 42-0 at halftime, Matthias, as we get set for the second half kickoff. Yeah, Dice looking here for another deep kickoff to win great field position here for their special teams unit and we got two returners deep again for the Wolf Pack. Here we go. Kick is away. Ball mishandled all the way back to the 15 of the Wolf Pack where it's picked up. Looks like Hackman's got the ball. She's running. She's got some room up to the 45, to the 50, past midfield where she's finally wrapped up by Dice, the kicker. And a, a, a tremendous run there on the play by Hackman and but obviously an even better play by Dice to, as the last last person back, as a kicker to wrap her up and prevent a return touchdown because that would have been some amazing momentum swinging in the way of the Winnipeg Wolfpack. But regardless, they're going to set up shop here with great field position just starting over midfield at the 52-yard line of the Fearless. Biggest play of the day for the Wolfpack as they try and get some second-half momentum here. Wolfpack approaching the line. Clark lining up under center. Two receivers split to her left. Empty backfield. Snap is away and the handoff is tackled for a loss. Kayla Kilborn had the ball, but she was wrapped up immediately as soon as she, as soon as she grabbed the ball. Dies with, I think that's her third tackle for a loss of the day, and she's absolutely tearing apart this offense on the defensive side of the ball for the fearless. And she's really able to snuff out any runs or any trickery going on in the backfield. And so we got second along, just a, a, a football length over midfield here for the Wolfpack. Dice certainly having herself a game so far today, both on the kicking end and the playing the defense. Clark takes the snap. Pitches. Swanson got the ball. She carries maybe up to the 52-yard line of the Fearless. That'll bring up third down. Wolfpack sending out their punt team. So another quick two and out for the Wolfpack here, Matthias. They can't seem to get anything going on offense. Yeah, James, it's a bit tough at this point in the game with halftime just breaking shy of midfield here, you, you might be thinking that they might have gone for it here, but we'll see. They might have a fake up their sleeve. Raposo waits the snap. Ball's in her hands. Kick is away. It's a good kick. Milani gets the, gets the return up to the 
midfield line, pushed yep. out of bounds just past midfield. And fast on the play there, eliminating any chance of a sprint up the sideline for a return touchdown and a good good tackle on the play there by her. And, and we're going to flip the field here just to about the 51-yard line of the Wolfpack where the Fearless are going to set up for first and 10. And again, at a point in a game like this with 42 points on the board against yourself, you might be thinking that the Wolfpack might have looked to go for it there on third, but Fearless with the ball nonetheless. Sawicki in shotgun, gets the snap, looking past to her left. She was looking for Shiovo, but Shiovo was cranked on the play before she could break out of her route by Ray Penner from the Wolfpack. Flags fly there, and Shiovo is hurt. As is Penner, both players down on the field. Just as Shiovo made her cut out of the out of her route there, she was hit on the play before the ball was delivered. Looks like Shiovo favoring that right knee there, and it doesn't look good at this point, James, but we'll just hope that she's all right and is able to get back up on her feet. The leading the receiver for the Fearless today. She's already got three majors on the day. Two receiving and one kick return, I believe. Yes, that is correct, James. Signal there, official or head official there, signaling for pass interference. As was evident from the last play there, so the Fearless are going to get a fresh set of downs on the 45-yard line. Trainer still giving Shovel some attention here, so she looks like she's in pain. This does not look good for the Fearless. It would really be a massive blow to lose your top receiver at this point. While we're in this injury timeout, we should remind you that today's game is the Richard Dudek Memorial. Richard Dudek was a name familiar to the football community here in Winnipeg. He started his career as a young man in the north end of Winnipeg, going on to play for the University of Bemidji, as well as the Manitoba Bisons, where he won a Vanier Cup with the Bisons. But when he hung up his cleats, it wasn't the end of his career in football. He stayed involved as a coach, board member. He's recognized as one of the leaders in the development of football here in Winnipeg and in Manitoba. Due to spending more than 50 years on the football field as a player, coach, and community leader, he was the founding coach of the Winnipeg Wolfpack, then known as the North Winnipeg Nomads Wolfpack. And he was known for his kind demeanor and understanding of the barriers athletes often face and support in the growing of all players and all abilities. He passed away in 2016, but his legacy has passed on through the establishment of the Winnipeg Wolfpack Richard Dudek Memorial Bursary, which is given out to the Manitoba Girls Football Association senior team female athlete who has submitted an essay on the impact football has had on their life as a young woman. And congratulations to the 2019 recipient of that award, Jenna Friesen. So you see her with a bit of help from the trainer and one of the coaches that Shovo was able to get helped off the sidelines. And she's up and walking, which is a good sign for them. And, and at a point in the game like this with a wide score margin, you might think that it'd be best to give her a bit of rest and to prevent any serious injuries from occurring to impact any other games later on in the season here. Yeah, if it's any type of a serious injury, uh, you would expect them to keep her out of the lineup with the score looking the way it is right now. First and 10, the Fearless. Handoff goes to Hargrave. She busts up the left for first down. Quick 10 yards for Hargrave, stepping out of bounds, just past the 35 of the Wolfpack. So again, the running game here is continuing to roll really well for the Fearless as they've gained most of the yards on the ground from the great running downfield by Hargrave. And they got, like you said, James, another first down here just inside the 35-yard line on the 34 of the Wolfpack. Ball spotted just shy of the 34. Sawicki gets the shotgun snap. Again, hand off to Hargrave up the middle. She's wrapped up at the 30-yard line. And the ball's fumbled. Picked up by number 17 of the Wolfpack, Jill Fast. And she's pushing her way back. Pushed out of bounds at the 42-yard line. But there are flags down. We'll see what happens on this. Fast with the quick hands, pardon the pun, to pick up that ball off the turf. After it's fumbled by Hargrave. So the officials here are just having a discussion on what's going to happen with this penalty here. We're going to have a look to see what it is. Looked like it could have been a face mask when Hargrave hit that line. There was a big pile up there. The ball squirted loose. So it looks like it will be a fumble. We'll see what the penalty does to this. 
And it is a face mask to the Wolf Pack. So they will not get that fumble. Fearless with that penalty now in the 19 yard line of the, of the Wolf Pack. And another tough call there for the Wolf Pack. A turnover which would have created some great momentum, but you're the fearless, get the ball with more great field position. Madison Sawicki gets the ball. She hands off. Julie Sprague up the middle of the line. She's still going, churning her legs. Gets up to about the 17-yard line. And that's a close call there for the fearless James, maintaining the ball inside the red zone now for them, looking to put up another score on the board. And that face mask will really pay dividends if they're able to put some, if they're able to put some points on the board here. Sprague pushed that ball up to the 13-yard line where they'll line up under center. Sawicki gets the snap, hands to Hargrave. She's wrapped up almost immediately on the play. Breaking into the backfield there from the Wolfpack. Great tackle. So it looks like a field goal call is what's going on here for... The Fearless with Dice coming onto the field here to put up another three points potentially. So with the ball spotted, spotted at about the 13 yard line it looks like. No gain on the play for the Fearless on that one. Good job by the Wolfpack to sniff out that run. Dice is going to put the tee down just inside the 20-yard line around the 19, so... Oh! She backs it up a bit, so... Right on the 20 here, so we got a 20-yard field goal attempt from Brooklyn Dice. Snap is away. Kick is up. And it's through. Another great kick by Dice. We got a whistle here on the official. Fearless player down. It's like 69, Samantha Conlin injured on the play. She's gripping that left knee as the trainer comes out. So in spite of Dice making her kick, there's an offside called against the Winnipeg Wolf Pack. So that's going to set up a new set of downs for the Fearless now inside the 10-yard line. And again, another tough go for the defense of the Wolf Pack. Holding the Fearless to what was going to look like three points, but now... Potentially could be open for another seven if the if the fearless are able to take advantage of another penalty going in their favor to keep this offensive drive going with just a, over ten minutes left in the quarter here. That's a great point, Matthias. Wolfpack have been making plays here, but they keep shooting themselves in the foot with costly penalties and missed opportunities. Ball now spotted at their seven yard line where the fearless will be first in goal. And Samantha Conlin still down on the field being looked at. What started off as a bit of a gloomy day is kind of transformed. Weather's not too hot, around 17 degrees right now here in the Manitoba capital. The sun poking through the clouds. It's a great day for football. Yeah, it started out pretty foggy early this morning, but like you said, James, with the sun come out, it's really starting to shine here at Eastside Eagles Field and continuing to show why it is a great day to be playing football here in the capital of Manitoba. And so far, this crosstown rivalry game has been anything but a rivalry with the Fearless up now 42 nothing, looking to add to that lead. And the Fearless showing that it was no fluke with their win last week in Regina, Continuing to roll in offense and defense and special teams here against their crosstown rivals and the fearless starting to to pose serious threats against potentially any other teams here in the league, especially Saskatoon with with their dominant performances thus far. And as you pointed out, they beat the defending champion Regina Riot last week, breaking an 0 for 9 slump against the Riot. It looks now that uh, that Samantha Conlon is going to get some help off the field here from some of the coaches. 
bit shaken up on the play. It looks like might be her near foot there, but is able to make her way to the sideline in order for her offense to continue this drive that they've got going here. And going back to last week for the Wolfpack, their struggles continue to putting up points. They were routed by the Saskatoon Valkyries, 57 nothing. Obviously, Saskatoon, five-time champions of the WWCFL. So no easy task, but still the Wolfpack hoping to get some more points on the board. And they're in tough here, down 42 nothing. So as Conlon makes her way to the sideline, the head official blows in the play. High snap, corralled by Suwicki. She's got the pass. She's got Hargrave just inside the five-yard line with the catch. The officials marked her down at around the three or four yard line there, James. And as the clock continues to run, the Fearless are dominating in time of possession during this game. And it's really a key factor in order for them to control the momentum of the of the game in order to dominate if, they, if they're going to continue in order to win. Great job by Suwicki on that last play to handle the high snap and get the ball off. She's got it again. Hands off to Hargrave, busts up the middle, tackled short of the goal line. So we got third and goal at around the three-yard line. Maybe a gain of one on that play. Great stop by Jen Rands with others from the Wolfpack. And the OC coach Weichel is going to tell his offense to stay on the field here for third and goal to potentially punch in another six points. So Wiki lined up in shotgun. Gets the snap, hands. Hargrave wrapped up in the backfield early. Number 17 for the Wolfpack, Jill Fast, busted through that line and sniffed out that run, making a great tackle. And that's the second time that the Wolfpack have stopped the Fearless on a third and short play. And their defense has been playing well on and off during this game. And it's just their offense that needs to kick it up a notch in order for them to put points on this board and make this, make this a game as we're just approaching nine minutes left in the third quarter of play. This relentless, fearless attack seems to be uh, stymied the last few plays by the Wolfpack. Been doing a great job at the bend but don't break. Obviously, the score is a little lopsided at this point, but the Wolfpack showing some signs of life. Now, first and 10 on their own five. Clark under center. Gets the snap. The handoff. Moving to the outside and tackled for a loss. I think with forward progress from the official there, they're going to mark it just in front of the goal line. So a close call there. Swanson the got the handoff, and it looked like she was going to get tackled for a safety. It was, pardon me, that was Kayla Kilborn with the handoff. Lucky that didn't end up a safety, Matthias. Yeah, that is true, James. And the ball spotted just outside the goal line at the Wolfpack's own one. And they're going to want to look to at least get out of danger here like they had earlier in a situation like this in the first quarter. Don't want to concede a safety or worse, turn the ball over for a score. Second and very long for the Wolfpack now. Clark under center. Looked like the early movement. No flags. And we're going to Tackled for see. a loss. Is that in the end zone? We're going to see. A safety is called by the officials. So the Fearless putting up points on defense as well. Yeah, great tackle for a loss there in the backfield for the Fearless. And unfortunately, Wolfpack not able to make enough forward progress to break the plane of the goal line. And the and it looks like the special teams coordinator here of the Fearless is opting for a kick return. Wolfpack will be kicking the ball off. So back to the 35-yard line as a line of scrimmage for this kickoff for the Wolfpack for Juliana Raposo and the Fearless making noise on defense here as they put up points themselves on the board and a non-intentional safety is really looking good for the front of their defense so far during this game. Fearless dominating the play on the offensive line. Their defensive line is coming through big for them now, too. As Raposo gets her players ready for the kickoff, and the Fearless have two back deep to return. Looks like Ali Botha and Marcel Milani will get the ball. 
She picks her way up the middle of the field, just past center field, and she's wrapped up, gang tackled by the Wolfpack players. And return about 15 or 20 yards here is going to set them up as the official has the spot here. The ball is going to be placed just before midfield at about the 54 yard line of the Fearless. Rands and Fasten on that tackle for the Wolfpack. The Fearless offense gets back to work here, first and 10. Just past the midway point of this quarter. Swicky shotgun, gets the snap, drops back, looking over the middle. She's got a receiver open, the catch is made. Number 85, Patricia Echo Davis hauls that one in. Another bullet passer, James, from Sawicki. But only a gain of about, oh, we're going to see where the official spots are here, yeah. It's like about six yards on the play. Yeah, that is true. Good gain there, just at the 50-yard line here. Fearless looking for more here in this second and manageable. Suwicki's get the ball after the snap. She's under pressure. Calls her own number. Gets the pass off. Nobody home, though. Falls incomplete, bringing up third down. And good mobility there from Suwicki to avoid not one, but two attempts at a sack from the, from the Wolf Pack. And now another safe de decision here for the Fearless. And send out Dice of punt team. And she's been having a great game on special teams with good punts and field goals and kickoffs. And looking again here, we're just about the middle of the fields to potentially pin the Wolf Pack inside their 30-yard line to get some more good field position for her team. Dice awaits the snap of the ball. She's got it now. Kick is away. It's a good kick. Oh, and it's a confusion there from the Wolfpack players. Both of the players back to receive the ball and went up to get it. Looks like they kind of ran into each other there, James, almost as if one had tackled the other. And it looks like, I believe, Hackman is shaken up on the play there after a collision with Masalit. Both players were unsure of who was going to get the ball, so they both went for it and collided just as the ball arrived. Hackman's still down on the play. The communication in a situation like that is key when you're with the dual returners because you're going to want to make sure that any collisions don't occur, especially which could result in a turnover if a ball ricochets off of one player and is recovered by the kicking team. So as it is a good thing that they were able to recover the ball there and make sure that they secured possession. But again, it would be a, a grave loss if they were able to, if they weren't able to maintain Hackman throughout the rest of this game. And she's still down in some discomfort. Looks like she's holding that quad or hamstring there. Could be a pulled muscle. Hopefully nothing too serious. This third quarter brought to you by the Calls In Hotel in Pilot Mound. So in this shortened WWCFL season, teams only get four regular season games before the round robin playoff starts. So each game brings on even greater significance. The Wolfpack looking to avoid going 0 for 2 so far this season. Well, the Fearless looking to push their record to 2 and 0. Looks like she's going to get some help here from some of her teammates. Hackman does look like she's in some distress there, so Hope for all the best for her and her teammates. Bouchard and Raposo out to come give her a hand off the field and gets a round of applause from the crowd as she gets up. She's been one of the better players for the Wolf Pack today. If she's not able to continue, that would be a big loss for them. Now yeah, that is true, James. She's been playing quite well in spite of this score line here and it won't give any help the situation at this point of the game but let's hope that she's able to return and is able to maintain her health going forward so they line up first and 10 27 yard line of the Wolfpack Clark gets the snap 
Hands off. Nothing doing there. His running back is absolutely stuffed. Fearless all over that one. Looks like she, uh, the running back there will be tackled for a loss. I believe it was Kayla Kilborn who got the handoff there. Bringing up second down. Ball spotted at the 27, so no gain on the play. No loss. More double tight end formations here from the Wolfpack. Early movement once yeah. again from the Wolfpack. Yeah, good eye. Looked like uh, one of the right guards, right tackles. Jumped a bit early, so this procedure is going to bring him back about five yards. Casey Nielsen flagged for the procedure. So a ball now spotted just in front of the 20-yard line of the Wolfpack at about the 22. Once again, penalties really killing any momentum the Wolfpack had saved up here continuing to push themselves backwards second down Clark takes the snap she's back to pass under pressure she is wrapped up avoids one but not another and that's a third sack here for the for the fearless and it almost looked like Clark wasn't able to hang on to the ball, but luckily she was, and so they're going to send their punt team out here. That fearless defense coming in waves. Wolfpack unable to stop the bleeding here. As the time continues to run here. There's only about three minutes left now here in this third quarter, and we got two returners deep for the fearless. So the Wolfpack punting from their 20-yard line. Snap is away. Kick is up. Fielded by Sarah Milani. She slips, crossing the 40-yard line. But no matter, it's going to be some great field position here for the Fearless James as they set up inside the 40 in great plus territory where they can look to add more to their score here. Ball spotted just shy of the 38 of the Wolfpack. That's where the fearless offense will take over. Sawicki in the shotgun, as she has been for most of the day today. She gets the ball. Handed off to Hargraves, who busts up the middle. She's got room. Finally brought down after enough for a first down. Looks like a gain of about 12 or 13 on the play for Hargrave. Another great run from her. And it moves the sticks once again. The Fearless have moved the chains quite easily this game, and they're looking for more here on this next set of downs. Peary and Raposo in on that tackle for the Wolfpack. Now Sawicki's got the ball, gives it to Hargraves again. And again, she's wrapped up. This time in the backfield by number 22, Jen Rands of the Wolfpack. Hargrave gets up to the 24-yard line of the Wolfpack. So gain of only a couple there. Brings up second down, long. Just over a minute to go here in the third quarter with the Fearless pressing to add some more to their lead. Swicky takes the high snap, pulls it down, looking deep in the end zone. Overthrows her intended receiver. And a little too long there. Courtney Labossier. So it looks like Dice is going to come on the field here again for another three-point attempt for a field goal here. So ball spotted just inside the 25 and around the 24-yard line here. And after putting up 42 points in the first half, Fearless only able to add two to their lead in this quarter. The Wolfpack are... Uh, are starting to stiffen their defense. So it's going to be a 31-yard field goal attempt here for Brooklyn Dice. Ball 
Ball is snapped. Kick is away. Low kick. Just and it's good. In, yeah. Just clearing the bar. That's right, Matthias. That one barely eked over the bar. And that's the end of the third quarter. Score now 47 0 for the Fearless after adding that. A bit of a high snap there, for the, but the older was able to get it down, and Dives was able to have just enough speed to get that kick off. And like you said, James, although it's just snuck in, as a kicker would say to you, three points to three points. So when it goes in, you're not too concerned because you got the result that you needed. And now almost about, about 50 here. And we'll be right back with the fourth quarter after these commercials from our sponsor. We'll be back in a few minutes. Here for the fourth quarter of the WWCFL action. We just had the kickoff of the fourth quarter after the Fearless scored a field goal. Their lead now up to 47 0. It's our deep left kickoff from Dice there, and it's going to set up the Wolf Pack in their own territory somewhere around. We're going to see where the official is going to spot it here. Ball. 32 yard line? Yeah. That is correct. The ball is spotted at the 32 here from first and 10 for the Wolf Pack. And with the score 47 0, you would wonder if head coach of the Wolf Pack, Aaron Taylor, might decide to uh, move some personnel around, but it looks like he's sticking with his big guns here. Yeah, that is right, James. It's good you point that out. It looks like there's been a lot of consistent personnel here. Clark calls her own number once again, which seems to have worked out well for her so far today. She gets a good push from her offensive line. That quick, about four or five there. That quick snap can catch the D-line off guard, and she's been able to make most of her living here during this game between both her guards, gaining several yards going up, up the middle of the field there. Ball spotted at the 37-yard line. Game of about five. Clark lighting up under center once again. She gets the snap, and again, quarterback Keith. She gets a good push from her offensive line. She'll be very close to the first down there. We'll see where the officials mark the ball. And you'd think with this strong push up front, James, that the Wolf Pack could maybe go towards this QB sneak play more as they move the chains. And indeed, that, uh, as you mentioned, Matayash, that is a first down for the Wolfpack. So hopefully you're getting some, uh, getting some momentum here and they can get the ball moving. The strength of two quarterback keepers. Clark calls her own number again. And again, a great push from that offensive line of the Wolfpack. Wolfpack's starting to build some rhythm here. And like that old saying goes, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And if Taylor's able to gain... A handful of yards every play in a rugby scrum quarterback sneak. Then why why change it? And it looks like it's uh, really been almost an Achilles heel, although not so evident. But for the fearless, they've, they've had the toughest time definitely stopping Taylor's runs up the middle. So we're going to see if they're going to go back to, back to the same player, if they might try a toss or a pass now. Fearless sideline cheering their defensive squad on. Clark hands off the ball. Swallowed up in the backfield for a loss. It's number 25 for the Wolfpack, Brittany Swanson. So after three straight quarterback keepers, they decide to hand the ball off this time and Fearless sniffing that out and executing well. Stuffing that for a loss. And as par for course at this point of the game, James, you'd have to think that the Wolfpack are going to go for it now and play three down football considering what the score is and and how the damage could maybe not be as worse. 
Again, Clark calls her own number. This time the push isn't as good as it was before. It looks like the Fearless will be handing the ball, or the Wolfpack will be turning the ball over here on downs. No harm, no foul in that situation, however. With a score like it is at this point of the game, there's no risks for playing three-down football or even running up the middle on third down if it's been the most successful play for them so far in this game. And However, the Feelers are going to set up with more great field position just inside the 50-yard line of the Wolfpack. Sawicki so and Shotgun with Hargrave lined up beside her. And... We're going to have a timeout called by the Wolfpack, it looks like. Oh, defense is calling the timeout, actually. So, the yeah. yeah, yeah. So, a quick timeout here from the Wolfpack. I don't know what uh, Coach Aaron Taylor saw. Maybe they're doing some player substitutions here. As we see, uh, number nine, Nobina Masalit, comes down to the field here. Fourth quarter brought to you by our sponsor, Wentworth AG. So the Fearless setting up here, first and 10, 49 of the Wolfpack. Sawicki looking over the middle, underthrows her intended receiver, Patricia Echo Davis, who's a little deeper on the play. Bit of a wobbler there, but not there wasn't too much dangerous traffic around, so. Sawicki was rolling out of the pocket as she threw the ball, so she wasn't on her back foot. She didn't have her front foot planted. So now we have a second and 10 here for the Fearless. Snap is good. Hand off to Hargrave. Busts up the middle. She's got some room to run. Great run up the middle by Hargrave. Extending that for 15 yards plus. Hargrave still down on the field. This could be really bad for the Fearless if this is anything serious. The trainers come out to take a look at her. After running all over the field today, Hargrave still down, being attended to. Looks like they're looking at that right knee of hers. Fourth quarter action here on Amateur Sports TV, also brought to you by Case Financial for all your financial needs. These two teams will meet again in a few weeks back at IGF for a rematch. That'll be the home, home season finale for both teams. Week four of the WWCFL season. Hargrave now sitting up. She'll be helped to the sideline with the trainers. Wonder if we'll see her again in this contest with the score a little out of reach at this point for the Wolfpack.
So that official will blow the play in here to resume. A new set of downs after that run from Hargrave. First and 10 for the Fearless. The Wolfpack 34. So Wiki gets the snap. Hands off to Sprague. Bust to the left side of the line. Tackled for after a gain of about seven on the play. Taylor Wigston in on that tackle for the Wolfpack. Stop that from being a much bigger gain. Sprague gets the handoff again to the left side of the line, churning her way. She's got enough for the first down and more. Finally taken out of bounds around the 10-yard line of the Wolfpack. So even with Hargraves, their main star out of the game, the Fearless not skipping a beat. Sprague taking over and handling herself well. Yeah, that's right, James. It looks like the Fearless have a great blocking scheme up front thanks to great coaching in both their offensive line. Coaches from Curtis Cron and Troy Layden really being able to relay a lot of good blocking techniques and skills in order for them to have a great running game up front as we've seen so far today. Handoff taken. Sprague up the middle. Nothing doing there. The Wolfpack sniffed that out. Swallowed up that on the play. Reposo of the Wolfpack looks to be down and shaken up on the play there. She's in some discomfort. The trainer heads out. So we're also able to get some help off the field there from the trainer. She's up and walking, so that looks pretty good for the Wolfpack. Definitely good news. Pozo is uh, not only plays defense for them, but takes all of their kicking duties. So the Fearless, first and 10 at the nine yard line of the Wolfpack now. Sorry, second down. Handoff goes to Sprague. She cuts up the right side of the line, plunging her way forward, tackled just shy of the goal line. Now it's going to look like about third and goal here on the one. So you might be thinking, James, that the Fearless are going to go back to their strong run game to break the plane, to punch in another score and make this an even wider margin. Taylor Wigston with a big tackle there, preventing the major. But the Fearless will line up first and goal on the one-yard line. Snap is good. Plunging through to the end zone, but we've got some flags down. We'll see if this one comes back. Looked like somebody on that line might have jumped. Let's wait for the call from the head official. Offside on the Wolf Pack. That penalty is declined. So the Fearless scoring the touchdown. So this time on a third and goal play, the Fearless are successful in a being able to break the plane. And the Wolf Pack broken down on that play there compared to the other third down stops that they had had during this game. So now we just await the extra point. Score now 53, soon to be 54 if this extra point goes through. Snap is good, kick is away, and the extra point is good. It's now 54 nothing for the Fearless over the Wolfpack with 6.30 left to go in the fourth quarter. So as the clock continues to run here, James, to about six minutes, you might be thinking that maybe the Fearless might ch change up their personnel in order to give a break and rest some of their players in in looking ahead looking ahead towards next week's matchup as we've got a 50 plus point margin at this point it might be in their best interest but we'll see how coach Pashinsky goes forth with how he's going to change up his personnel if at all
Dice out for the kickoff. Ball is away. A low line drive punt or kick, I should say. Fielded by Hackman. Just inside the 20. She's tackled almost immediately after handling the ball. Nuremohino in on oh, that tackle. On a 47-yard kick by Dice. Another good one that bounces left of the numbers towards the sideline there. And the Wolfpack are going to set up first and 10 deep in their own territory. At around the 25-yard line. See if the Wolfpack can uh, get something together on this drive here. All of their success today has been running up the middle. Quarterback keeps Re Rebecca Clark holding the ball. We'll see if they go back to that here. Clark under center. Gets the snap and indeed calls her own number. Oh, and somehow busts out of the line. She's got room on the left side of the field. There's nobody around her. Great blocking by Masalit. Clark still running. Finally chopped down on the play. Past the 45-yard line of the Fearless. What a great run from Clark. Grace McDonald there. Able to chop down tail or able to chop down Clark as she runs for what seemed like a 50 50 yard run almost there. And and that trickery looking to start to pay off for the Wolf Pack with their double tight formation. They ran up the gut that last time, and then there was a huge scrum, and Clark bounced it out to the outside where there was nobody around. They go up the middle again with Clark. This time she's tackled pretty much right at the line of scrimmage. Maybe a yard on the play, if that. Yeah, James, you look at a play back like that, you almost couldn't tell where she was, and she was able to bounce outside real quick for a big gain, and Looks like she's looking to do that here again. Hurry up offense. They go again up the middle with Clark. This time she's wrapped up once again right on the line. Fearless not being faked out by any means. Bringing up third down now. Gain of maybe half a yard on that play. So it's about third and long here. Just approaching the three-minute warning again. And now the Wolfpack looking to maybe shake things up a bit as the Fearless have... Like you said, James, snuffed out the attack and not been faked out too much. And there is the three-minute warning. Or a timeout has been called here by the offense, the Winnipeg Wolf Pack, around the three-minute warning as well. And there goes the three-minute warning from the head official. Interesting that they would call that timeout with the three-minute warning looming, but... That's a good point, James. You'd Coach Aaron Taylor obviously looking to do something with his team. But maybe at this point in the game with the two timeouts they have for this half, using one of them at this point may not be the end of the world in their opinion. So we're going to see here what the Wolfpack are going to have brewing here on this third and long at about the 42-yard line of the Fearless. Correct me if I'm wrong, Matthias, but I believe this is the first time the Wolfpack have had the ball in fearless territory this, this game. Yeah, they've been over half a few times, James, but cracked on being inside the 45 for the first time, close enough to territory. Clark drops back to pass. The ball slipped out of her hands as she threw. Short of the attendant receiver, but flags fly. It looks like we could have some pass interference on the fearless here. That was 71, Sarah Milani on that side of the field. Covering Mobina Masalit. See what the call here is. Sounds like the coaches are arguing about the ball being uncatchable to not be able to deem pass interference, but instead the official is going to go with pass interference against the fearless. No, correction, it was defensive holding, which means oh, holding. that even though the ball was uncatchable, the holding call still applies. And the Fearless take a timeout here. 2.12 okay. left on the clock. So good eye, James, there. That is that is a good point that you bring up with defensive holding that no matter the ball being uncatchable or not, that it's going to result in a new set of downs for the Wolfpack here with just over two minutes left to go 
And you could hear Coach Craig Machinsky from the Fearless on the sidelines screaming that the ball was uncatchable. But, again, it wasn't pass interference they were calling. It was a defensive holding on the play. So Wolfpack offense comes back onto the field. First down, the fearless 33-yard line, Clark under center. Again, going up the gut. It's been their bread and butter so far today. On the rugby scrum four, James just past the 30-yard line. Brooklyn Dice got in around behind the quarterback, Clark, there, and tried to grab her down from behind. Not after Clark surged forward for a gain of three or four. Looks like it'll, it'll be about second and three. Clark gets the snap, drops back to pass. Looking. Just out of the reach of the intended receiver. I believe that was Masalat again. She dove for the ball, but was unable to come up with it there. Now, as you can see, this consistent... Play calling of running up the middle was able to fool the fearless into a nice play action drop back from from the quarterback there, but unlucky on the miss to Masalat. Snap again going up the middle. It's Clark. Fearless players trying to rip that ball out of her hands and that big rugby scrum as you called it, Matias. So another turnover on downs here for the Wolfpack. Unable to get anything going. And it looks like we won't see them back on the field today with 26 seconds and ticking left on the clock in this game. The Fearless up 54 nothing. And if I'm not mistaken, James, it looks like sowicki has got the call from Coach Paczynski to set up in victory formation to take the final knee of this game and let the clock run down to double zeros in order to end this one. So this we're going to see... This will be the final play of the game here. As you pointed out, Matthias, victory formation. Snap, and Sawicki takes a knee, and that's the final. 54-0, the Fearless with the romp over the Winnipeg Wolfpack. have now been shut out in two straight games. That's the end of the game. We'll be right back with our post-game show here on the Amateur Sports Network. <laughs> 